If you have watched the last video, you will know that Saba just dropped a 2-pack. The 2-pack includes Ziploc and Rich Don't Stop. We're going to go bar for bar and break down Rich Don't Stop. First things first, in the description below, I have a link to new merch. Half the profits for this merch are going to go directly to the farmers' protest in India, so please support if you can. So getting into the track. Yes, this is the second of two tracks that Saba just dropped. I felt it appropriate to do a breakdown for both of them back to back because when he released the video, it was both songs together. Uh, but anyways, this song was fun. Uh, it's a lot higher energy than, um, than Ziploc. So we're gonna go right into it. It starts off with a chorus. She said the shit don't stop, tears don't stop. At home scared of the fear don't stop. Speaking of the crib, dude, rent don't stop. Don't stop, hey, don't stop. And the fear don't stop, the kids don't stop. That's why she overdrive, swear, sis, don't stop. Cause the rich don't stop, yeah, don't stop, don't stop, yeah, okay. I think this is straight up in reference to stuff that's been happening recently. I mean, the pandemic's kind of screwed everything up. So having this sort of uh, intro, I guess, definitely sets the tone it so the shit don't stop the tears don't stop whatever is happening in this person's life it just doesn't stop happening like these negative things keep happening so the tears don't stop flowing and they this person or someone else maybe he's talking about a group of people at home scared so the fear don't stop they scared for whatever reason like Maybe they scared of their partner. Maybe they're scared of their parents. Maybe they're scared of their roommates, their neighbors, the people around them. There's so many possibilities. So they're just terrified. The fear don't stop. And then speaking to the crib, the rent don't stop. Yeah, no, the rent don't stop, unfortunately. And that's kind of sucks because, man, people are... People can't pay rent right now. And even though we just got that stimulus, like, bro... It ain't enough for most people. I mean, in the Bay Area, 1400 ain't going to get you nothing, really. All these things don't stop, right? That's why she's in overdrive. Because the rich don't stop. She wants to, like, assuming, maybe this whole course is about this one particular person. She doesn't want to stop because she has aspirations to be like those rich people. Because they don't stop working. Or at least, I mean, that's what we're told online. Like, the rich never rest. Hashtag team no sleep, am I right? <laughs> this then goes right into the verse first. Text, don't call, fail, don't fall. Yeah, the grind, one of a kind, like a damn snowball. I put gang in my name, like I am Mozart. And if they saying you a stain, no, they ain't gonna wash. Text, don't call. Yeah, I prefer text. I get it. No, but um, I think that's just, that's something that a lot of people do. Like people would prefer not to be called. People want to get texted because it's usually quicker. You don't have to really commit to a whole conversation. It's just you know in and out. The grind is one of a kind, like a damn snowball. So a snowball or a snowballing effect, I guess. If you roll a snowball down a hill, it'll progressively get larger. I don't know for sure because it doesn't snow here, but that's what I've seen on cartoons. But I think it's more of just like. Things keep piling up as you go. So the grind is one of a kind like a damn snowball. So this snowball keeps getting bigger and bigger. The grind keeps getting bigger and bigger. More things you got to do. Or the grind is just unique like a snowball. Like no snowball is going to be perfect because, you know, it's mostly ice. Like how's that going to work? He began his name like Mozart. Mozart's first name is Wolfgang. And Saba is part of Pivot Gang. So, And if they say in you a stain, no, they ain't going to wash. If you are a stain, you ain't gonna get washed away. Like, don't let them... Like, if they're gonna call you a stain, be a stain. Don't get washed away. Don't allow yourself to get washed away by people calling you a stain. Watch my soul, watch my bro, we both struggling. How he cope, he needs the dope. Give me no substances. I get on, he get caught, now he gone for a minute. I get on my household, was the oldest one here. He's going back to the past. Him and his bro were both struggling. He's trying to wash his soul. So he's, I guess, talking about what was happening. Like cleansing your soul, like letting it go. You know, that sort of idea, at least. He copes by, you know, smoking. He need the dope. But for Saba, no substances. He get on, he get caught, he gone for a minute. He got caught up in something. Now he's, 
He's he's gone. He's locked up. And now he's got to run the household, basically. And ain't no fear in my eyes. They trying to catch me like fireflies on the west side or the south side. Then televised, I'm top five. Better lie like Killer Cam and the Pink Mink. They are trying to catch me like fireflies. You know, like in in the summertime. You know, people like kids go around trying to catch fireflies. You know, as they do. I never had that experience because, you know, I wasn't really outside like that, I guess. They're trying to catch him on either the west side or south side. Chicago, I'm assuming. And then all of a sudden he's on TV. He's top five. And then him saying better lie like Killer Cam and the Pink Mink. I mean, is he... Is he lying about that? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, to some people, he's definitely top five to them. So... Maybe he should lie like Killer Cam in, <laughs> in the Pink Mink. When I tell the guys I met him more, fuck around my teleport, I tell Scott, rocking a list, we stacking a grip, took it back to the crib like Collar and Kaepernick. When he tells the guys he metamorphs, when he transforms, or when he tells the guys he transforms, what does he transform into? Killer Cam in the Pink Mink? I think. Uh, fuck around, he might teleport. I tell Scott. Scotty beat me up. Because I don't think he's necessarily talking to Travis Scott or. Kid Cuddy, in this situation at least. Took it back to the crib like Kaepernick. Yeah, I mean, you should probably be aware by now that Colin Kaepernick has been basically blacklisted by the NBA or NFL and uh, for some reason still doesn't have a job. I mean, he ready, right? So he's, I mean, he got sent back to the crib essentially. On the knee in the midst of being from where you have to get rich with the pass and assist or grabbing a sack to st- and a stick to attack where you live, so say. So, continuing the Kaepernick line, he's on the on his knee. And he's kind of continuing that same sort of sports references. Like, he's on his knee, like Kaepernick, but he's also in the middle of this sort of thing where you have to get rich with the pass and assist. So, you can't really do it on your own. Like, you have to, you know, work with others to succeed uh this then goes in the chorus which is the same as b4 and then the second verse don't stop microphone hot i forgive my enemies because they know not white collar job that's like a bow tie meanwhile we just let the whole week go by don't stop microphone hot so don't stop talking because the microphone's still hot like the microphone's on or or don't stop your rapping because what you're saying is hot fire like bro bro you got bars He's talking about how he just forgives his enemies because they don't know. They don't know about him. They don't know what's going on. They they just haters. White collar jobs are like a bow tie. They're different. I don't don't know what he's going with for that line. Think about the past that I've grown from. Focus on the bag bat. That's a home run. Falling from the cliff with nothing to hold on. I'm just like you. Look how I put my clothes on. He's reflecting on his past, where he's come from, where he's grown up from. He's focusing on the bag. He's got a bat, swing, it's a home run. So his thinking about the bag is going to be a home run. Like that is essentially him at bat. Yeah, a lot of dudes quit because the road long. A lot of people fear what really goes on. A lot will follow doubt. I think they chose wrong. You're only talking loud because you're unsure. Yeah, a lot of people do quit because the road is long. People get tired or people are lazy. They don't want to put in the effort to do all that. They're like, oh man, I got to do all this. Never mind. It, it kind of like that, I think. A lot of people fear what really goes on because they don't know what's going on. Or they hear about what's going on and they're scared of it. Which is totally reasonable. Like, things are scary. You don't know what's actually happening. A lot of followed out, I think they chose wrong. People will act on their doubts. So, if a situation calls for them to make a decision, they may second guess themselves and be like, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do that. Maybe they chose wrong. You're only talking loud because you're unsure. People will always yell and be very aggressive when they don't know what they're talking about. Coming from retail, I know this very well. I said the grind don't stop till my vital stop. I was 18, but I know my mind was a lot. More ready for the world worldwide won't stop. I got too much to keep it moving for. I won't stop. He's never going to stop grinding until his vital stop. So he's going to keep running. And when he started out, he was 18. But he knows that his mind was a lot. There was a lot that he was saying. 
people might not have been ready for it or the way he was saying it didn't really resonate with a lot of people so he's been working on it he's probably trying to find another like trying to find another way to reach other people that at least that's what i'm getting from this and now he's more ready for the world worldwide he won't stop until he goes worldwide basically and he has too much to keep it moving for he won't stop so he's gonna like he has too much to too many people looking for him too many people who need him too much too much that he has to do for him to stop this then goes back into the chorus which is the same and then the song ends this song was actually really dope too um, i know i said on the previous breakdown for ziploc i did prefer ziploc a little bit better and that still does stand true but i like them for different reasons i like ziploc because i can always just throw that on i feel like it's just a vibe sort of song this one the beat was a bit more energetic so it wasn't really i don't know it was different i don't know i just liked it this this is him on his rap shit really like he was really just trying to rap here at least that's what i took from it and the whole idea of the song is pretty straightforward i mean he's gonna keep grinding because rich don't stop he's looking to those people who are rich whether it be wealth or knowledge or whatever really he's gonna keep working like they do like he's gonna keep working so that he can attain whatever his goal is i really like that like it's weird because it's not a song that you would expect to really hear a rapper <laughs> make because it's so more like yeah go do your shit yeah you could do this like i don't know I feel like a lot of times people are like, nah, rappers don't talk about that. They just talk about what they got already. They're not going to tell you to do anything. Like, yo, no, this is... What? <laughs> I like this, though. It was dope. Again, I don't know if this is going into an album or if these are just going to keep being Lucy's. I have no idea. But it might be album time. We'll have to wait and see. Anyways, let me know in the comments below what you thought of this track and what your interpretations of it are if i missed anything misinterpreted anything let me know also be sure to check out the breakdown for ziploc which was probably posted before this so i don't know how you found this one first unless you were searching for it specifically anyways like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this thank you for watching and please stay safe out there